años 60 y estamos a, escuchando la entrevista que hicimos esta semana con Alfonso Albaiza. Se, cortamos un poco ahí la respuesta sobre lo que habíamos estado hablando en ese momento eh, debido a las a, inclemencias del tiempo acá en la radio. Pero bueno, vamos a regresar a escuchar la segunda parte de, de esta respuesta en la que nos está hablando de lo que él eh, visualiza sobre los nuevos modelos de la Infinity para el futuro inmediato. Eh, cómo es que sería el, el, el auto de sus sueños, lo que le permite hacer la tecnología hoy en día y cómo es que ve eh, ese futuro para la Nissan inmediatamente. Así que aquí la segunda parte de esa respuesta con Alfonso Albaiza, director global de diseño de la Infinity. So, uh, so my dream really of Infinity is uh, how do we capture its shape, in form, this journey, this kind of, the feeling when someone has made it in an unconventional way and they want to reward themselves with a car that is excellent in an unconventional way. Yeah, and, uh, and the challenge also is to for that car to be appealing everywhere in the world, right? Because Infinity, with their their move from uh, here to the U.S. to Hong Kong and um, the headquarters there, that's part of the intention, right? To be to produce cars that are have all those characteristics that you just mentioned, but also be appealing everywhere in the world. Yes very much and I think that uh, Infinity wants to be a real premium brand. Uh, you basically make the same car and you distribute that message, that artistry, you send it to the world. Uh, you don't modify so much. But the uh, interesting part about Hong Kong is the gateway. I mean, Hong Kong is a gateway between the West and the East. Uh, maybe because of its own history of being a, a British colony. Yeah. Now it's a uh, direct pipeline to China, which China is our kind of growth, one of our big growth opportunities. And we have uh, these kind of new premium customers that are in China, but their journey is actually quite interesting. And I feel uh, a synergy to what I just mentioned. It's an unconventional journey to wealth. Yeah. And infinity uh, is perfect for this. So when someone struggles and risks to become something great, uh, do they really just want to buy a normal premium car? I think they want something special that is a mirror of their own achievement. Yeah, that's a very interesting concept, yeah. And uh, a little bit um, in the conversation, you mentioned 25 years of experience, and I uh, I didn't want to... <laughs> Put it up there, but uh, when I saw the headlines about your appointment, they said better up decider Alfonso Alvaiza. You're only 48, but uh, you start working really, really early, huh? I think I was 12. <laughs> During that time, the child labor laws were very flexible. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm old. 25 years at, at uh, Nissan Corporate, so yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's very funny. So, Alfonso, now you are, you are uh, based in Hong Kong, too, or you are, uh, where, where, where's your uh, base for work now? Uh, my base is in Japan in our global headquarters for design. And uh, we have a very, uh, actually, a very cool organization because uh, we're at the design center is in Japan. Yeah. Outside of Tokyo. But uh, we use our overseas studios quite... Uh, dominant. So uh, most car companies, we have a headquarters and the overseas studios uh, have a role, but they don't tend to, to direct the company. And uh, I have, because uh, Shiro Nakamura is, is quite open to be challenged. Yeah. Uh, my road has always been as a kind of vice president of overseas studios. And uh, my experience is that he values the input of the outsider very much. Yeah. So now that I come to headquarters, I want to continue Shiro's vision that uh, to respect uh, and to be inspired openly from the, the region, so from the Americas, from uh, Europe, from uh, China, and of course here from Japan. Yeah, so you have designers all over the world, obviously, taking trends and taking, like, ideas, and then, like, they get them together, I guess, via technology. I mean, that's the amazing thing. And they put them together over there, and they like, that's how the process works, more or less? Yeah, 
and uh, actually even uh, it's a mix between uh, the uh, old world art, meaning the touching with your hand, and actually super supersonic technology sending data all over the world because we also have engineering centers everywhere. So uh, we have one project where we're de finishing a design here in Japan for Infinity, but some of the engineering and the manufacturing is going to be done in the United Kingdom. I see. So, uh, and uh, also we have these relationships with our partner Mercedes. So our data, our information, our ideas uh, drift through the atmosphere as uh, digital information. And uh, even though we still have a clay model that we sculpt by hand. Yeah. So that still is fascinating to me is that still the hand of the artist is felt even in the super technology age. Yeah. Well, Alfonso, thank you very much uh, for your time. And uh, if I can ask you for, uh, I always like to 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 in include in the show uh, great examples of our people doing great things. Uh, I, so I want to just like in maybe in a, just one minute or something, tell somebody like the kids who might be listening here in Miami or anywhere in the United States, all over the world, how to to put your passion into something that is uh, so important as as your new. Your job. I mean, like you are like the executive design director for Infinity, a worldwide company. A kid from Miami who loves cars. So, can you say something, maybe even in Spanish, if you want, or in English, whatever? Uh, well, I think that what uh, I've actually visited a couple of times the school of Dash in Miami. Yeah. Very good art high school. Um, and what I've said to the kids there, and I say to your audience now, is that. The, the most difficult thing about wanting to be a designer or an artist is that in the very beginning, it seems like an almost impossible dream, like, oh, how can I live, make a living, and support a family or support a life uh, in the arts, because the arts is a kind of hobby. But uh, what I stress is that if you have a passion and you have a talent for design, the uh, the fulfillment and the joy from creating something is uh, really, I cannot put words to this, and uh, that you must be strong. And also, at the end, you must know that there is huge opportunities for jobs in the art, uh, in the creative arts. You can be an architect, a furniture designer, a fashion designer, a graphic designer, a software designer, uh, all everything, a car designer, a product designer, there is so much opportunity for creative people. The world needs more creative people. It's only difficult in the beginning. You have to be strong in the beginning, and uh, you'll find that when you get out of school, uh, you, your dreams can happen. You just have to be strong, convince your parents that it's a great career, and... Uh, <laughs> that might be difficult. <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, and uh, so please keep trying because we need uh, more great designers and we need designers from many different uh, areas of the world. So uh, that would be my message. Que por favor, siguen, dibujen, do as much drawing and thinking and dreaming as you can. Excellent. Thank you very much, Alfonso Arbaiza, a kid from Miami. Now uh, the executive design director for Infinity in uh, Tokyo. Um, well, thank you very much for your time, Alfonso, and uh, I hope uh, this technology will allow me to send you a Café Cubano through the phone, but uh, unfortunately I can't. Muchas gracias, Alfonso Albaiza. Pues realmente fue un placer poder hablar con Alfonso Albaiza desde su oficina en Tokio. Nosotros estamos en California haciendo las pruebas, como mencioné anteriormente, el nuevo Kia Cadenza y del Mitsubishi Outlander. Y bueno, la diferencia, 16 horas de diferencia había, así que yo estaba hablando con Alfonso eh, el lunes eh, a las 11, a las 11, no, a, el lunes a las 7 y media de la noche hora de California y él estaba ya el martes a las 11 y media de la mañana hablando desde allá de Tokio. Realmente un placer, una persona que, como pudieron escuchar, eh, se ve que ama lo que hace y en el mensaje que le pedí, que siempre me gusta hacer aquí dentro del show, eh, cómo se puede inspirar a las nuevas generaciones 
eh, es lo que decía él, seguir la pasión a veces es difícil eh, en esa área de diseño donde al principio, como él lo mencionaba, no es fácil obtener eh, salarios muy importantes ni nada, pero si uno sigue sigue la ruta que, que, que te indica lo que sientes en el corazón, lo que es el trabajo, eh, seguramente vas a tener éxito. Alfonso eh, ha diseñado en los últimos años varios modelos muy exitosos para la Nissan, como el Nissan Elur, el Nissan Extreme Concept Cars, que se vieron en los autoshows alrededor de todo el mundo. Y bueno, ahí tienen un um, hijo de inmigrantes cubanos, eh, crecí, criado aquí en Miami, y ahora eh, desde su oficina en Tokio dirigiendo la operación global de diseño para la Infinity, que sea, como decíamos, separado físicamente eh, de la Nissan para tratar de establecerse como una marca totalmente independiente y lo está haciendo también a través de su patrocinio de la Fórmula 1 con el equipo Red Bull.